Hi, welcome to Circus Arts Conservatory's CAC Connects. I'm Ricky, and hey, look at all of these things just sitting here on the table. They're not like floating away. What's that cool word that means that all things are pulled towards the earth? For example, if I drop something, it's pulled down. That's right, gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls all things, including you and me, towards the earth. Today, I wanna to share with you how to make a piece of art that uses gravity. To make this piece of art, the things that we need are all right here sitting on the table, thanks to gravity. We'll need a canvas or a piece of paper. If you don't have a canvas or a piece of paper, you could also use a paper plate or a piece of cardboard. Since we'll be painting and it could get a little messy, you'll wanna have something to cover your table, like newspapers or plastic bags, or even do this project outside. You'll need some paint brushes, or just one. I have a couple of different sizes. You'll need some water, some paints, and something to mix your water and your paint together in. I have these little ramekins, but you could also use a cup. To use gravity in this piece of art, we'll need our canvas or our piece of paper to be upright. To do that, you could use an easel or lean it up against the wall. Or if you don't have an easel or a good space to lean it up against a wall, you can just use your hand to hold it with one hand and use your other hand to do the painting. You'll wanna use the hand that you write with to do the painting and your other hand to hold it. All right, let's cover our table and get started. Now that I've covered my table, I'm going to get my paint ready. You'll need your water, your container for mixing, and a color of paint. We want the paint to be a little bit runny, but not too runny. So we'll add a little bit of paint and a little bit of water until we get it just how we like. So I just put a little bit of paint in. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of water in. Mix it up. It's pretty runny. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. And mix it up every time you add paint and water. And if you can see, my paint is drippy. Not super drippy. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of my paints ready and we'll keep going. Now that my paints are ready, time for the real fun part. Time to paint. We'll lean our canvas or our piece of paper up against something or put it on our easel. Get one of our colors. Remember, it should be pretty drippy. I'm gonna start at the top of our canvas. And let it drip down. Why is it dripping? Gravity. Gravity is pulling the paint towards the earth. You continue your piece of art. Oh, didn't get very much that time. By putting paint at the top of your canvas and allowing it to drip down. 
You can make big lines, get a big brush, to cover more area. As I'm painting, I can see the paint being pulled towards the table. Hey, pull is a force also. What's another force that we could use to maybe move this paint? Push. We could push the paint. How could we push the paint? Well, maybe we could push it with our breath. If we put some paint on our canvas, And blow it down the canvas? Does it change? Or is it just like when you dripped it from the top? Does it move quicker or slower or the same? Something else is happening here. I didn't have every color that you see on my painting to work with. How did that happen? How did some of these colors show up? That's right, the colors mixed. As one color was dripping down, another color dripped into it, mixing the colors to create a new shape. When you finish your gravity art, you'll want to keep it standing upright until it's all the way dry so that all the drips can reach the bottom of the canvas or so that they don't dry flat on your canvas rather than having gravity help them down. What do you think would happen if instead of holding my canvas upright the whole time, I turned it? as I was dripping the paint. What do you think would happen to the paint? Would it still drip down towards the table? Let's find out. This time we'll take a little bit of paint and we'll turn the page as it's dripping. The paint keeps going towards the table. Try it for yourself. Like you can see, it makes a really different piece of art than keeping your canvas straight up the whole time. If you put a little bit more water in your paint, your paint will drip a little bit faster. If you put a little bit less water in your paint, your paint will drip slower. You can play with this as you create your art, putting your paint on the page and dripping it and turning your page. Just 
Check out where that paint droplet always wants to head though. It's being pulled by the force of gravity. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you make your own gravity art. Thanks for watching. Keep calm and circus on.